also give it a few moments. Once we've signed into the business intelligence homepage, we want to go to click home. And um, in the left pane under create analysis and interactive reporting, this portion, select analysis, then select the subject area paint. Give it a few moments. In the left navigation pane, expand the folders and confirm that the market regions folder and corresponding columns appear. So this is a new presentation table that we created. This presentation table, recall that does not exist in the database. We just created out of uh, our own development efforts. So we expand. So these are the different uh, columns that we included in the presentation table. So next we want to create an analysis by double clicking or dragging and dropping the columns in the subject areas pane or the selected columns pane. So we can go and I hit and click name, region, district. And we, for now, we'll use these three columns to review the results. Retrieving data. And this is a market, the name of the market. And the region is central region. And the district is portrayed in the third column from the left. This so far demonstrates how you can work with uh, a non-existent table, a presentation table, non-existent presentation table in the database. You create one, you drop columns from multiple other tables, and um, be able to use it in your analysis. The next step is to check the query log. So we'll return to Fusion Middleware Control which should still be open. Then we'll click on Diagnostics. Then we'll click on Log Messages. This was already pre-selected for us from our previous operations. Then I want to scroll down to the View Search Log Files section. This is a section in reference. Then what we want to choose from this view search log file section is server log so that we can navigate to the log screen messages. Take a few moments. In the log messages screen, leave the data range most recent to one days. Deselect all message types except for trace. So what we want to do is that the message types, we need to deselect incident error, error warning. And we just want to have trace selected. Next, we want to enter the, in the message field, enter the wording, sending query to database. database then we want to click on search we have one message that has been retrieved this is the most recent query sent to the database in the bottom pane click the collapse pane button arrow on the right hand side to view the log message your results should look similar to what I'm sharing on screen this screenshot shows only a partial view of the, the log. So you can see that um, the SQL begins from the width statement and uh, all the different columns that were included in our analysis included from here as well as uh, from here. 
Next, we want to restore down the pane. And we click the Restore Pane button to get back to our query log trace message. And then we will log out at this point and uh, go ahead, go back to the analytics. This concludes managing logical table sources. In this lesson, I showed you how to open the repository in offline mode, add a new logical table source, create presentation layer object, load the repository to the Oracle BI server, create an analysis and run it, and check the query log. Next, in the next lesson, I will show you how to create calculation measures in the Oracle Business Intelligence Administration 2, and I look forward to demonstrating how to perform that task.